Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa, with the Rat Dog trailer. More John Deere stuff here. It's my new phone. I dropped my other phone and lost everything. So I had to go get another one last night. It's Thursday. So I'll redo this video. See how this works out. Looks like I have to go to the bubble look, but I'll back up. The rat rod trailer. At least my colors match the side of an old Dorn trailer. Huh. Oh well. Okay, we'll see what the rest of the week's going to be. Alright. Over here to pick up plastic. And the cars in Columbus, Wisconsin. Looking good. Axles back. Chalk wheels. Pulling my rat rod trailer. It's a good Thursday. Tomorrow's supposed to be some kind of winter storm coming in at 1 a.m. All the way to 1 p.m. We'll see how that works out. I'm done loading. It's getting pretty late now. About 5 in the afternoon. About 5.30 really. Getting to be cloudy. Well, it's time to take this over to Garber's Plastic. And... Columbus, Wisconsin. Got it right at 34,000 on the trailer. I don't like this air hose. Something wrong with this. I don't think that spring is really right. This spring here needs to be down farther. And it has to be done. It's choked up here. There's no reason to have it like that. I slid it down much better. Yeah, that looks better. Now it's horizontal. See it's choked. That looks a lot better. Four is about an inch from the ground. Now it's about a foot and a half. Alright, take my rat rod trailer and take it back to Columbus, probably pick up an empty and take it to the yard. There's supposed to be some storm going on at 1 o'clock in the, in the morning, so we'll see how great that's going to be. Time to get my truck dirty. Well, it's snowing pretty good. Let's see, backing up. truck's getting a little snowy out. I got this snow right before I got into Madison. We we're going about 20 miles an hour, about two inches on the ground. It's a lot better over here. But they don't have any employees here to be unloading until in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this off and get to the yard before it really starts dumping. They're talking about about five inches of snow. So I'm dropping this off. It's uh, 12.30 in the morning. It's supposed to be starting at one. And it's supposed to be going on till one in the afternoon tomorrow, Friday. So it's all about hooking, unhooking and going back to the yard. But the roads are really terrible. It's really good here, but you can see it's just coming, starting coming down now. Pretty heavy wet snow. It's about 28 degrees out.
Like all the trucks are here, there's only one spot left here. But I pretty well went through so much snow. I saw it was going through Madison all the way to Columbus, and then the snow plows did pretty good. Both sides all pretty well slushy. Well, that's the winter look. So it's only about 28 degrees. I figured it wouldn't be that long. It'll be done at one, so I don't have to worry about my winter front. But that's what it looks like. The graveyard shift. It's about 2.15 in the morning. So what's really neat is that I'm parked right next to my last truck. I had truck 40. See, I took everything off except for the headlight trim. But yeah, the clearance lights, those are the um, three LEDs. And this one's got a lot more. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven LEDs compared to three, but that's got the chrome around it. But I put a lot of love in this truck. I took everything off and put it over on my truck. Let me see how everything looks a lot different but if you look at my videos of what I did to it at the red lights in the back fog lights are pretty well amber I switched my mud flaps but yeah this truck 40 <laughs> once I got 600,000 then it's not in warranty so they gave me this one this one's got about 200,000 so that's pretty good all right, I get to have some sleep. I'll see you all in the morning. It should be snowing really good like this for uh, all morning, all the way to about one in the afternoon. So we'll see. But I get 10 hours, so hoping all this goes by. The weather, they, they always go slow. It probably goes too much quicker this front. And well, that's March. It's always a heavy, wet snow. It's not too cold. All right, I'll talk to you all in the morning. Snow pretty good. It's about one in the afternoon, snow stopped. But I gotta pick up this trailer. 5332. Looks like a rat rod. 
but this is bales of cardboard. This trailer looks really tired. Huh. You gotta check that to make sure it doesn't fall off and go on the road. Well, it's a wall bash. Duro plate. Huh. I gotta take this to Wapaka, Wisconsin, and then drop it off and pick up a, another trailer, a loaded trailer. So let's see how this is. 5332. Got short skirts. Right. It's gonna be a muddy day. It's a wet, slushy day. All right, let's hit the road. It's Friday. I'm in Walpaca. Snow pretty good up here too. It was snowing on and off going up here in Walpaca. This is a good drop and hook yard here. You can see we're dropping all the trailers. It's a quick trip. Found a place up here. It's right by Plover. But uh, this is the right way to do it, is finding a drop and hook yard. And that way you're away from other um, places that do business, start getting in their way. But, I'm gonna drop it off. 5332. And picking up this trailer, it's a utility. It's 53216. But this is actually a really nice trailer. It's got the chrome on the corners. It's got beat up a little bit. Skirts on the side. Aluminum rims. But this is a really nice trailer. You see the, the beat up parts they have patched up. The back you can see. Stainless steel. It's a lot different than this wall bash or rat rod. This is a really nice trailer, 53216. But it's clean, it's straight. There's no creases or nothing. Except for this, oops. You see they cocked everything up. But it's, this trailer's got potential. Yeah, it's straight. Good utility composite. All right, well, let's see if they want me to take this to ND Papers. All right, I'm done unloading an ND Papers. I gotta go back to that yard and drop this trailer off and pick up another trailer. And take it right over to um, the yard and I'll be done for the week. I gotta go to Des Moines. Monday, I could be there at 7, so I'll leave Sunday. I guess slide the axles there. Yeah, looking all good. All I have to do is clean it out. And I drop this off. It's pretty cool though. It's probably about 29 now. There's supposed to be snow here, up here in northern Wisconsin. And it's supposed to be about nine degrees out, so I better get out of here, get over to the yard. It's about a two and a half hour drive to the yard. But I gotta stop at Wapaka and do a drop and hook. All right, back in Wapaka. Five, three, two, one, six. I gotta drop this off and pick up the trailer. I think it's five, three, oh, eight. Let's we'll see if it's here. This is a good trailer. Just needs to get washed. These look like beaters. This one doesn't even have a number on the back. 
Oh, 5308, that's the one in the end. All right. It says it's loaded. Yeah. That's a beater. This one, you gotta open up both doors. Huh. Looks like mulch. Good old mulch. Okay. So you have to get it strapped and tie that down. Okay. This is a lot better than Quick Trip, but there's still some trailers over there when I went by. I had to fill up over there at Quick Trip. They have about four trailers over there. All right, drop and hook. Take 5308 back to the yard. Never ending. I'm back at the yard. It's snowing again. It's about 28 degrees out. Uh, that's it for 5308. Yeah, disconnect this. Stoughton. That's a big landing gear. Well, it's about one in the morning now. Got the rat rod rims. Alright. Yeah, it's it was snowing real good in Fond du Lac. It's all about dropping the paperwork off. This one was probably, this rim here was probably in the inside and they decided to put it on the outside but that should be on the inside, that's what they look like. When you have dualies like that, the bad ones are usually from the inside. <laughs> it's a beater. Uh, it's all about disconnecting and parking it going home for the rest of the weekend it's like a lot of trucks over there might have a parking spot but last night about one it was coming down really good right now it's just flakes maybe it'll be another inch by the morning the end of winter. Well, I hope everybody had a good week and a good weekend, everyone.